All right, um, it's not so amazing again. And today we're going to be talking about how we can generate content ideas from Quora.com. You should know Quora.com. Quora.com is the um, is a community, like it's a platform where people come to get answers to their questions. You know, they ask questions on every topic ranging from health to um, e-commerce, to artificial intelligence, to computers, to science, to education, family, relationship, everything out there, fashion, uh, digital marketing. So people come there, they, they ask questions and they get answers for their questions from other people. So how do we make use of Quora to get content ideas? It's very simple and straight to the point, you just need them to be kind of smart, right? So let's get to Quora.com and we're going to do a short practical. I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the fashion niche for this, um, for this um, illustration. So this is Quora.com, this is my account. So you, you, you're going to sign up. If you don't have a Quora account, you can just sign up and create one. It's very easy to do that. If you have one and you've been using it, um, this is another way you can make it um, um, useful to you if you're a content creator. The reason why I'm recommending Quora for this um, particular illustration, like to for your content idea generation, is because these are these are real questions, like real-time questions and answers from people. So there are real-time questions and answers from humans like us, you know, so it looks relatable. If you're, if you're getting, if you're generating your content ideas from, from Quora.com, it looks relatable, it looks more human, right? So let's do a quick um, search on fashion. I'm going to type fashion. Let's say you're in the fashion niche. You could type any niche that you are into, but let's use fashion for this illustration. So I click on fashion and um, these are um, some results we're getting. So we're going to look for questions that people have asked in fashion. Now, let me tell you, see the catch, it's very easy. You're going to look for a question that someone has asked in, in fashion. Let's say you're in fashion, fashion niche or you're in the baking niche or you're in digital marketing, you just come and type, then you find a question that someone has asked in the past. Then you take that question, then you take the answer that was given to that question, then you combine the both, do one or two touches here and there, and um, you've gotten the content, crazy and relatable content for your social media platforms, right? So let's get to business. Now I'm going to scroll down to the part where we're going to find questions on fashion. Um, you see this, uh, what are the best fashion blogs? Uh, what are some top fashion tips for guys? So let's click on this. This is going to be an interesting topic. More like what are some top fashion tips for males, right? So let's do this. Um, what is the latest fashion for men? What are some of the best fashion tips for men above 40? So let's click on this and see if we can get something sweet, something interesting. So um, this is a question that someone asked. What are the top, so what are some top fashion tips for guys? So this is the response I was giving to the person, the question, sorry, this is the answer I was giving to the person. So. The answer is usually fashion tips tend to be super long and super complicated. I'm going to talk about something, sort of, forget about the color theories, a bunch of bullshit. Um, let's go down and see. Okay, we're going to skip this. I think it's very lengthy. Let's go to the second answer that I was given. Some of this, some of these conflict with each other, but I'll just show them all out. Don't worry about fancy labels or white clothes or nice clothes or following fashion rules. Anyone who cares about fashion, this, 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 this. 
color these are like tips right these are like tips what are the worst fashion tips for guys okay this is like the opposite of what we saw earlier we saw the best fashion tips which is um, this what are some of the top fashion tips for guys so you could you could even use what what are the worst fashion tips for guys so let's let's go with this for instance you see so um let me copy this sorry so i'll copy this and go to my google doc and paste it so that we can work on it and use it for content see that so this would be what are some of the worst fashion tips for let's say males above 40 right Okay, this will be ideal. So now we're going to be talking to a specific audience of males, not just any male out there, right? So let's say above 40, right? What are some of the worst fashion tips for males above 40? So let's say you are into um, content creation, right? And you have a fashion page, let's say on Instagram or, or Facebook or Twitter, right? You can break this down into, you can even make it like a video content. You can create it like a reel. Like, what are some of the worst fashion tips for males above 40? You know, number one, color matching rules are between, you understand, something like that. Then let's do some spacing here. Um, graphic t-shirts are short and always acceptable, you know? So you could you could do this and um, space it and um, expand on it with your own thoughts because this is like you're just getting an idea it's not as if you you must copy and paste everything the way you did it here right you could do that and do some small touches to it so you could um, go to canva right you could go to canva and you can create carousels you can go to Canva and create carousels and use these tips as carousels, you know. Here, you could use it as carousels, carousels like the slides, like swipes. You know, you could create that kind of content on Instagram. You can create it on any other platform. You can use this as a content. So how do you make this kind of content to be interesting? Let's say you're sharing it on a platform like Facebook, for instance. You could say... Um, I was reading and so on asked this question. See? They put it like this. Say something like, and I saw and many persons shared their opinions on the Christian. But the answer was someone share the tips below which i find outstanding and decided to share with you guys You could do it like this and um, then you can number it, right? 
So when you do this, you number it and you've gotten the solid content because with this, every male that is above 40, that is part of your audience, they are going to find this interesting. You know, they're going to find this interesting and it's very relatable because it was being asked by a human and the answers were given by a human too, by a human too. So you just go through it, do one or two touches and make it very solid. You could, um, like I said, you could um, try other niches. You could try, um, let's say you're in the digital marketing space. Let's find one, something on digital marketing. So you go, you type that and um, you scroll down to where you're going to find the questions. You see, you see questions that people are asking. What are some of the best, what are the best strategies for social media marketing? Um, I want to find a question that looks um, quite outstanding. Okay, um, I'm not finding, okay. You could explore this. There are lots of questions here that you can use to do the same thing. You can, let's say you're in the baking niche, you can just come and type baking, right? And you scroll down and find, see, what was your worst baking disaster? You can use this to create a fun content, you know, like I was reading through, Quora.com and I saw some of the worst baking disasters that people have experienced in their baking career or something like that at home. So you can just pick, you know, what people have shared here and share with your audience. Um, you see, see, this is another question. Is the use of baking soda in food harmful for health? This is a crazy content idea. So you can pick it, then pick the body. The body the body of the content is the answers that we're giving to that. So you can just do this, right? I hope um, it's clear enough. I hope it's clear enough. So you can pick, you can pick answers that, that look very relatable, answers that are rich in content, like that are rich in quality, and just use it to form your own content. This is the end of my tutorial on how you can generate content ideas with Quora.com. Subscribe to our channel. I'm not so amazing, and I'm going to keep doing this. And I love you. Take care.